This patient has risk factors including obesity and increased neck circumference along with symptoms such as daytime hypersomnolence that are indicative of obstructive sleep apnea. Sleep apnea is an important reversible cause of hypertension. It is important to evaluate and treat this patient for sleep apnea prior to initiating antihypertensive therapies. If treatment for sleep apnea does not lower the blood pressure, the next step would be to begin medications for blood pressure reduction, in addition to lifestyle modification. Let's go over the answer choices. Choice A, echocardiogram, is sometimes helpful in the management of hypertensive patients to assess for left ventricular hypertrophy. However, it is not the best next step for this patient. Choice B, hydrochlorothiazide, is an excellent first-line agent for essential hypertension, but it is more important to evaluate and treat this patient for a reversible etiology of his hypertension prior to initiating therapy. Choice C, nocturnal pulse oximetry, is the correct answer for screening this patient for obstructive sleep apnea. Choice D, metoprolol, is no longer recommended as a first-line agent for essential hypertension unless there are certain comorbidities such as a prior myocardial infarction or systolic congestive heart failure. And finally, choice E, electrocardiogram, would not be helpful in the initial management of this patient.